When Palworld released into early access in January 2024, it was absolutely everywhere. Selling 8 million copies in its first 6 days of release and reaching over 2 million concurrent players on Steam made it the second highest played game of all time on Steam. It was generally well received but earned the nickname Pokemon with guns because the creatures in Palworld resemble Pokemon. Well when this game released everyone could smell the Nintendo lawsuits a mile away and they're finally happening. Yesterday, as of the creation of this video, Nintendo and the Pokemon company hit Palworld with infringement lawsuits. Now, this is coming from Dexerto, and this story has been growing, but the first piece of the puzzle is this. Nintendo and the Pokemon company have filed a patent infringement lawsuit against Pocket Pair, the creators of Palworld, seeking compensation for damages. On January 24th, at the height of Palworld hype, the Pokemon Company addressed accusations of the game copying Pokemon, saying it intended to investigate the new release bearing a striking resemblance to its own franchise. And as anyone who played Palworld knows, some of these creatures highly resemble Pokemon. Some of them don't, but there is a good percentage that definitely resemble, like these two shown here. The CEO of Nintendo also responded to concerns of Palworld infringing on its IP, promising that they would not hesitate to protect their series. However, Furukawa did not mention Pocket Pair nor Palworld by name, merely generalizing. In the months that followed, Palworld's director confirmed they hadn't heard anything from Nintendo's camp. And I do remember this, when the game first came out, most people were saying, like, Nintendo's gonna hit them with the ban hammer, you know, Nintendo's gonna, gonna come after you like they do with everyone else, and nothing was happening for quite a while. But as of today, Nintendo and the Pokemon Company announced they have jointly filed a patent infringement lawsuit against Pocket Pair. Filed a day prior on September 18th in the Tokyo District Court, the suit seeks compensation for damages that Pocket Pair allegedly caused as the result of their infringement of the Pokemon IP. And they quote, This lawsuit seeks an injunction against infringement and compensation for damages on the ground that Palworld, a game developed by the defendant, infringed multiple patent rights, Nintendo wrote in its press release. As for the specific patents Palworld developers have infringed on, it's unclear as Nintendo nor the Pokemon Company have spoken further on the matter. There's also no publicly available copy of the lawsuit at the time of writing. So Nintendo isn't specifically telling everyone why they're suing or exactly what they're suing for, but we can all kind of guess and generalize what Nintendo is uh, seeking damages for here. We have received an official response though very recently by the creators of Palworld, and it reads, Regarding the lawsuit, yesterday a lawsuit was filed against our company for patent infringement. We have received notice of this lawsuit and will begin the appropriate legal proceedings and investigations into the claims of patent infringement. At this moment we are unaware of the specific patents we are accused of infringing upon, and we have not been notified of such details. Pocket Pair is a small indie game company based in Tokyo. Our goal as a company has always been to create fun games. We will continue to pursue this goal because we know that our games bring joy to millions of gamers around the world. Palworld was a surprise success this year, both for gamers and for us. We were blown away by the amazing response to the game, and we've been working hard to make it even better for our fans. We will continue improving Palworld and strive to create a game that our fans can be proud of. It is truly unfortunate that we will be forced to allocate significant time to matters unrelated to game development due to this lawsuit. However, we will do our utmost for our fans, and to ensure that indie game developers are not hindered and discouraged from pursuing their creative ideas. We apologize to our fans and supporters for any worry or discomfort that this news has caused. Now, there seem to be two sides of the camp here when it comes to opinions on what's going on. First of all, Nintendo is well known for being very aggressive with their lawsuits, especially when it comes to Pokemon. We've seen this happen a lot by Nintendo, not only doing heavy copyright strikes on people's YouTube videos that play their games, but also in 2021, Nintendo of America's legal team issued a mass DMCA takedown of 379 games removed from Game Jolt. Many of these developers and fans of these games were taken by surprise. Nintendo just shut all of it down. So Nintendo does this often, and that leads to a lot of bad press. Also, a former lawyer of the Pokemon Company discussed the company's approach to cease and desist and pointed out that there were many discussions about the 2024 video game Palworld due to its similarity to the Pokemon franchise and Nintendo taking down a mod that added Pokemon to the game. So Palworld's been under Nintendo's radar for quite a while, basically since the game release. And in my opinion, these damages that Nintendo is talking about could just be the fact that the creatures in Palworld have guns and use weaponry, and that could just put Pokemon in a bad light to people who see it. Nintendo doesn't want anyone thinking of like Pikachu with an AK-47, you know? <laughs> that's not that's not the image they want to go for. So if that's what they're suing, if that's the damages they're suing for, then I guess it makes sense. So even when the trailer for Palworld first dropped, 
everyone was thinking, dude, Nintendo is going to shut them down immediately. Nintendo is going to come after them hard. And everyone was kind of surprised that when Power World saw the success that it did, that Nintendo didn't come after them. Everyone was expecting it to happen overnight. So there are some people saying that, yeah, this is kind of deserved and we saw it coming. A lot of their characters look almost exactly like some Pokemon designs, so obviously Nintendo is going to protect their IP. But because Nintendo is always so aggressive in taking down indie games and fan projects, they've grown a lot of animosity with their fan base, and now a lot of people are saying, well, screw Nintendo. <laughs> let, let these guys have their success. Nintendo, get out of here. You already have Pokemon. You're already rich. Who cares? As you can see here, right in the responses, there's a few of those people. One person saying, best of luck. Instead of bullying smaller companies, the ones going after you guys should make better products. They fear you. Your product is better than anything they've been making over the past 10 years. Pal World is 100 times better than Pokemon. If they're coming after you, you're doing something right. And Nintendo be Nintendoing. I mean, this, it's just kind of the general mindset with gamers nowadays, because we're so used to seeing Nintendo do these takedowns and these lawsuits. But a lot of people, and according to this article, the reason for Nintendo suing might not actually be the designs of the Pokemon. In this article by Dexerto, they have a legal expert say, the art of a given Pokemon would generally not be subject to a pattern patent, but instead to copyright and potentially trademark, if a Pokemon signifies the brand, think Pikachu. It's possible that a Japanese court could have granted a patent on some aspect of rendering them or animating them in a specific way, but it would be unusual. And since it's a patent that Nintendo is coming after Power World for, it might be something completely unrelated to the design of the creatures. In my opinion here, I'm on the side of Power World and the developers. Whenever I see Nintendo or any big game company like this taking down fan projects and YouTube videos and indie games, it just, it just rubs me the wrong way. Even if some of the creatures here resemble Pokemon and they are making a bunch of money because the game got so popular, it's still an indie project and it's just showing love for another franchise that that developer is into. But the fact that Nintendo does this and copyright strikes and patent strikes so many developers and so many fan projects, it really does paint them in a bad light and I think they need to reel it back a little bit if they want to win some of their fans back. And even if some of Nintendo's arguments do make sense here, it's hard for me to side with them and hard for me to care about a big company like Nintendo over an indie developer doing something unique. Fan projects and games that use Nintendo games as their base shouldn't have to jump through hoops just to avoid legal allegations. Like let's take Poke MMO for example. It's the first five generations of Pokemon made into an online MMORPG and it's incredible. You can play with hundreds of other players. It's amazing. But they have to basically say that they are a ROM hack and not a fan game just to get around Nintendo's legalese and be able to publish their game and have people play it. Nintendo games are some of the most popular games in the world. So obviously there's going to be fan games of Pokemon and Mario and, and Zelda and Metroid and those things should be able to exist. Let creators be creative and don't just take down all of their stuff, Nintendo. If anything, I actually think that this is just going to make more people go and play Pal World if they haven't, or go back to it if they stopped playing it. It's probably just all going to be positive reception on Pal World's end, and more negative reception on Nintendo's end. But tell me what you think down in the comments. Do you side with Nintendo on this, or do you side with Pal World? If you play Pal World, what do you think of it? Thanks for watching Pasta TV, and I'll see you next time.